This video guide outlines the portfolio and application process for prospective students who are interested to apply to the North Island College Fine Art Diploma Program. All of the details I will cover regarding the application process can be found clearly outlined on the NIC website Fine Arts page. Hello there, my name is Sarah Vipond. I'm a faculty member for the School of Fine Art and Digital Design and Development. I'll be your video guide. Let's get started. This guide will outline the who, what, when, why, and how of the application process. I've simplified it into six steps. One, we'll select 10 to 15 examples of your artwork. Two, I'll give you tips on how to photograph your artwork. Three, create a portfolio inventory list and the details you need to include. Four, outline the written statement about how you tell us about yourself. Five, portfolio package in written statement, so how to put all these bits and bobs together into one package to email. And six, how to email to NIC admissions. Who, who should apply for the Fine Arts Diploma Program? Calling all creatives, we welcome a diverse student demographic. At NIC, we celebrate diversity, and this is one of our strengths in the Fine Art Program. Our student demographic has a broad range, welcoming students who recently graduated from high school to creatives in their 30s and 40s, and also mature students who have had accomplished careers and are now finally fulfilling their dream of attending art school. A diverse class creates a fertile ground for rich feedback and understanding of multiple perspectives. The prerequisite for all applicants is to have a C in English 12 or equivalent. NIC also offers upgrading options in English. You can inquire about upgrading with the NIC advising to learn about your options. What? What does it entail for the application process? You'll put together a portfolio of artworks. I'll give more detail ab about this coming up. You'll also create a written statement to tell us a bit about yourself. When? When is this due? Portfolios may be submitted throughout the year. Recommended deadline for fall term intake is between March 1st to April 30th. This will allow you to be considered for different scholarships or bursaries. So that's the sweet spot, March 1st to April 30th. But again, as long as there are seats remaining available, we'll take portfolios on an ongoing basis. Why? We ask for a portfolio so we can see your work because it gives us a sense of who you are as a creative and your skill level. It also allows us to see the types of mediums that you have explored, what types of subject matter are of interest to you, and it informs us how to best support you as you enter the program. It also allows us to assess if the fine art program is the right fit for you. Often people are intimidated by the concept of putting together a portfolio. It's not intended as a barrier. Consider it an opportunity to share your experience of your creative exploration to date. Once you're in the program, we work with you to develop your technical skills, creative research, and develop a studio practice. How? So domestic students submit electronic portfolios and statements to this email address, which you'll also find on the website, and international students email their portfolios and statements to this email address. You'll be saving it as a PDF file, or another option is to zip the files in a zip folder. I'll walk you through how to go about that later in the presentation. Portfolio guidelines. So here I'll outline the six steps for the NIC Fine Art Portfolio and Application Process. Step one, select 10 to 15 examples of your artwork. This includes finalized work, working studies, or technical explorations. And the mediums can be varied. It can include drawings, analog or digital, paintings, pr mixed media or collage, printmaking, sculpture, installation or assemblage, ceramics, photography and design work, time-based work such as video, audio and performance. 
The key is to show us their, your strongest work. Don't get caught up in how many mediums you have shown. We like to see that you've explored what mediums you have explored, but often this is a matter of access. Perhaps you only have two mediums, such as drawing and photography. That will work just fine to show us your strongest work. Step two, photograph your work. So here's a few tips I've put together to consider how to do photographing your artwork. Um, and we can do this at a very low tech level, simply with using the camera that you have in a cell phone. But key things to remember is light. So have an even light over the artwork. When you are photographing your work, avoid casting a shadow. Sharpness. If your image is blurry, your camera has either moved while pressing the button or the lens is not in focus. Stabilize your device or use a self timer so you're using both hands to hold the camera. Have the camera focus on the part of the image that has contrast and clearly defined elements. Wait for the camera to focus. If you're taking a picture in low or poor light, the shutter will be slow and this will cause a blur in the image. Improve the light, the lighting on your artwork. Distortion. Image distortion happens when the camera is held at an angle that has, is different from the artwork. To minimize distortion, hold the camera parallel to the artwork. Include some background when you're taking the picture. This way you can see if one side is shorter or longer than the opposite side. Including some of the background or stepping back from the artwork can also minimize some of the curve created by a camera lens. The photograph can be cropped in a simple app on your computer, phone, or tablet. So another tip is to consider your file size and format. Save files as 72 DPI, which is dots per square inch. Basically, if you're shooting with a cell phone, this is the type of uh, DPI that most cell phones shoot at. You're also going to save it in a JPEG format. This si file size and format creates a decent but low resolution images that are perfect for submissions and easy to email. Here are two um, helpful resources on how to photograph your artwork. One using a cell phone, so their link is below, and the other one using a camera, another link below. You'll find that there's a PDF of this presentation on the NIC Fine Art Program page, and those will be hyperlinked. Step three, create portfolio inventory list. So number one, save the file with a number one through 15 for each artwork. Two, create an inventory list that corresponds to the number of your image file. For each image, include title, medium, size, and date. So here we have an example of number one is the image number, and this particular work is untitled. Um, then you would see the inventory list. So we see the corresponding one, untitled, collage, eight and a half by 11, created in 2019. And you can see the list proceeds with all of the ones that you would submit into your portfolio. Written statement guidelines. So for step four, you're writing a statement. Basically, we want you to tell us about yourself. Complete a written statement answering the following questions that are outlined on the Fine Arts Program page. Why do you want to study at North Island College? Two, what will you gain through studying at the School of Fine Arts and Design at NIC? Three, why do you want to study visual art? Four, what mediums or artists inspire you? Five, which piece in the portfolio is your favorite and why? Basically, this gives us an opportunity to get to know you and hear your voice and your passion about art. Your statement should not exceed 500 words. Basically, that's roughly two pages double spaced. So very often people can get this done in a page, page and a half, but we ask you to keep it under two pages. Submission process. Step five, package your portfolio in written statement. So option one is to save your portfolio as a PDF. Let's watch this video that will show us the step process 
about how to save it as a PDF. To show you how to organize your portfolio and keep it together as a PDF to email, you'll see I have my file here already. I clearly have my name, art portfolio, my written statement starts at the top, answering the four, five questions that have been outlined and requested of me. I then have my image in inventory with the title, medium, size, and year that it was completed. And you can see I have then, it references my inventory list, number one versus number one, and so on. So to uh, put an image into a Word document, all I'm using right now is Microsoft Word. You can just click and drag, and then you can resize it. Um, I'm going to make mine a bit smaller because I want to do roughly two per page. That's just my preference. Um, and then I can click here and then just do enter and then 03 and my title. So you'll have your 10 to 15 images and then everything's in one nice spot. Um, so let's say I've completed all 10 of my images. I'm then going to go up at the top menu to file, save as. And under file format, I am going to choose PDF and you can export. And then you'll notice your PDF on your desktop and that's what you're going to attach to the email. Option two is saving the files together in a zip folder. We'll watch this video that shows you how to compress your files into one folder. So here you would have all 10 of your images as individual um, files, and then also your written statement and your inventory list. And then they're saved together into one file folder that says your name, portfolio, and I see. You click on it, and then you go up to file, and then compress is the option. And then you'll see the zip file. So this is what you would attach. If you're finding that your files are too large to attach to an email, you can upload them online. Two free online options are Google Docs or WeTransfer, and then simply email us the link. And then step six, email your package to NIC Admissions. So here's the email contact for domestic students and the international, e international students email to this contact. Mission accomplished, portfolio submitted. Here is images of our team from the Fine Arts Diploma Program, some faculty and studio techs. We're looking forward to building a creative community with you.